Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. This is my watch list. I've lost track of the episode number. I actually haven't recorded um, a recorded episode of my watch list in a very long time. I used to, I was doing them on the live streams for a while, but I decided to uh, talk about this pile of stuff here in a recorded uh, my watch list video. So uh, a lot of stuff on the channel I've been doing recently, a lot of the videos have been watching stuff that I have not watched out of the collection. So uh, you've probably seen a lot of them. So I have some standouts here um, from those videos or stuff that wasn't featured in videos recently on the channel. So uh, let's jump into it. Yeah, so first one up, um, since the last watch list uh, live stream I've done, um, you guys know that I do the Star Trek live streams once a month with my good friend Cinema Dave over on his channel. Um, do check those out. We do once a month. So uh, coming up in August is going to be Insurrection, I believe. Yeah, Insurrection is the next one up. But uh, Star Trek Generations was the first one up. I watched it out of like, this old Star Trek DVD movie collection box set. This one and you kind of get the... Uh, there's kind of two kind of uh, folders, for lack of a better word, in there inside the uh, the DVD box set. But um, Generations is awesome. I think it's a nice kind of combination of the two crews kind of and uh, a nice crossover movie. But um, yeah, if you want to hear more of uh, myself and Dave's thoughts on Star Trek Generations, do check out that live stream. And um, there is a playlist here on the channel or check out Dave's channel as well. Um, I've been uh, next one streaming one. I've been watching Fear the Walking Dead and kind of I finished season three on that one um, and then I just kind of stopped with that I haven't been watching any more of that so that would have been the next thing up um, so I did do a video on the channel I'll link it here in the corner guys if you want to check it out I done this A to Z movie challenge where I watched a movie beginning with every letter from the collection that I'd never seen before so um, that was a good chunk of stuff so I don't want to list those 25-26 movies here in my watch list video but I've picked a few standouts there that I watched for the first time and that that I really enjoyed and um, Jackie Brown Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown was great and I can't believe I said it in the video I can't believe it took me this long to watch it it's really awesome this is an old two disc collector's edition um, and I haven't even like delved into any of the bonus stuff or anything like that yet but um there's a lot of stuff, documentary, interview with Tarantino, Chicks with Guns, there's a there's a lot of stuff on there I really do need to check out, but Jackie Brown was great, I can't believe I put that off, um, which is the case with a lot of these. Um, Linda Fiorentino, The Last Seduction, this was another one that's been in the in the collection for a very long time and never, I think I saw like maybe bits of it, but never the whole thing, and I really liked it, Linda Fiorentino was great in there, Bill Pullman's in there as well, really awesome, highly recommend that one as well. This one, I set it in the A to Z movie challenge. I ran this on 35mm and I kept seeing the end and I can't believe I never watched it. Road to Perdition, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, Paul Newman, Tom Hanks, Jude Law, of course, is in there as well. Um, really awesome stuff. Uh, directed, Sam Mendes directed this one, yeah. I uh, highly recommend Road to Perdition. Really cool, kind of gangster type movie. Uh, really cool. Um, another standout in the A to Z movie challenge was Sicario. I got this a while back in a, in a haul and... Um, yeah, this was really cool. Uh, Josh Brolin, Benicio Del Toro and Emily Blunt. Um, that was really cool. Uh, nice action, kind of, you know, drug stuff, Mexico, US, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, another another standout in the A to Z movie challenge was uh, Robert Zemeckis' What Lies Beneath. I knew all about this, but never, never saw it. And I only recently uh, was given this to add to the collection. So, uh, big fan of Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, and anyways, and... Um, Thought this was a really interesting role for Harrison Ford. Wasn't expecting um, like him in that kind of role. That was cool. Um, another one last one out of the A to Z movie challenge that I liked was um, Eyes Wide Shut out of this big red and black Kubrick box set. Um, I'm still making my way through all of these guys. I haven't seen everything out of it yet, but I did watch Eyes Wide Shut and Full Metal Jacket as the E and F uh, letter movies. Uh, for that A to Z movie challenge. I really liked those words. Sure, I'd be definitely interested in checking that out again to see if I could see more things uh, within that movie after those. Um, next one up, uh, quick watch list things here for me. It's a little bit. Um, uh, Gaspar Noe's Irreversible. This is the indicator, the, you know, the limited edition in the hard box and there's like a poster and a bunch of stuff in there. Um, I believe they are limited numbers as well, aren't they? Yeah. 10,000, 4,701 this was. Um, I never saw this and it was kind of sitting on the up on the shelf in the shop and customers kept talking about it like over 
the course of a week and I thought like well it's the last one left I think I'll grab this because people keep talking about it all of a sudden I don't know it's a pretty old movie it's like a yeah, 2002 movie um, it got it got this release uh, 2020 so um, I got it and it like it, it's what happens in the movie is horrible but the way that they he went about making the movie it's all in reverse and I thought that was really well done really clever and um, really like it and um, do I want to watch the film again not particularly but the, uh, I want to check out the bonus features and see about what he has to say about making the movie so irreversible Um, I don't know that I can really recommend it Um, like sexual assault stuff if that's not your thing then you definitely don't want to watch this movie but uh, the way it was shot and how it was made and you know plays out in reverse I thought was really well done Um, another one up I got this a while back the uh, Beavis and Butthead the complete collection this is a DVD uh, box set here and um, it's volumes one two three and four and beavis and butthead do america the movie is in there as well so it's slowly making my way through like some of these are hilarious and some of them are terrible but um some of the newer ones are actually quite funny the, the newer episodes that I've never kind of seen before um so from basically what i make out they've taken the music videos and stuff out of some of them but some of them they've kind of left them in and um, some of the newer ones volume three and four um i've yet to re-watch the beavis and butthead do america the movie but um yeah I'm glad i grabbed this for a collection because they're quick and you know you just throw it on kind of not really pay attention to it in the background but still kind of laugh at what's going on and um, so that was the next thing up um Another one, we done, we done the next Star Trek uh, live stream with Cinema Dave. So First Contact, so again, it's just this, you know, the DVD box set goes. First Contact was uh, was one I really liked, you know, the Borg and all that stuff is really awesome. Again, as I said, guys, if you want to check out what we think, we break down the movie for about an hour or so on the live stream. You can check out the replay. I'll leave a link in the description to that playlist. Highly recommend checking that out. Um, another grab out work, actually, I think this was, I can't remember if I got this, if it was in the sale box in work, but um, it's Atomic Blonde, the Blu-ray Steelbook here. And I really like the artwork. I love the back artwork here with Charlie's on there. Um, really really cool but um, yeah I I saw this movie uh, before and I really liked it and I decided to grab the uh, grab the steel book because I really liked it rewatched it it's awesome Charlie's is a badass in this movie and lots of action and it's really really well done really like it and would recommend that one as well and um, last one up this was a random kind of grab out of work and um, shameless uh, do kind of the horror stuff and they do these really interesting yellow covers so this is the new york ripper the lucio fulci movie horror movie um fulci i like is hit and miss with me i don't like all of his stuff and i really dislike some of his stuff and this was just a weird <laughs> weird one all together um there is some bonus stuff on here which i've yet to check out but uh, i don't know there's something about these yellow yellow cases and yellow covers it just kind of uh, you know everything is yellow inside it just really it just really stands out on the on the shelves behind you i grabbed another shameless one uh, which i'll talk about again in a future watch list video but um yeah this was a strange one and like uh, i want to kind of say not for me really weird but um yeah not for me altogether but it's a number it's point number one in this kind of in whatever this line of stuff that shameless do so i'll probably hold on to it maybe i would maybe i'll appreciate it more on another watch i don't i don't like watching things one time and saying that was bad get rid of it um you know by looking at the collection guys i'll pretty much keep anything anyways even if i don't like it so um yeah that's a, just a quick rundown of stuff i've watched since the last uh since the 3k subscriber celebration live stream where i had a quick kind of watch list at the start of that live stream so that kind of brings you guys up to date as i said a lot of the videos i've been doing um, like I recently uploaded the Marvel Phase 2 video so I've been you know they were stuff I've watched as well review fests uh, almost famous 4k that's all stuff I've been watching recently but I don't want to talk about them here because I've already done separate videos about them so that kind of wraps it up for this one guys um, check out my Patreon and YouTube membership uh, links are in the description and um, these names on screen here these are the guys who get access to exclusive content once a week and um, there's five plus hours of content not featured here in the main channel on my patreon and youtube membership accounts you can see that stuff for as little as one euro per month guys if you're interested in that do sign up and uh, of course if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel all that good stuff thanks for watching really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one